Hey Dewdrops, it's Diane from Corvina. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're doing really well. We are making Christmas inspired marble paper all this week. We were doing it last week too. Now this week we're working with not just Christmas colors. All right, let me show you what we've got. All right, we are being inspired by vintage ornaments. Aren't these pretty? You guys know how much I love teal. Ugh, I love these. And I'm also pretty sure that at least one relative of mine had a set of these while I was growing up. Who knows, maybe that's why I love this color so much. All right, let me show you what I've got today. And I'm gonna do it all at once because I have got a bunch of teals. All right, bunch of teals, got some blues in there. What do you think? Think we're gonna do it? I don't know. We're gonna also do some white because of the white accents. I'm excited. All right, let's move it down. You can have the dew drop view and we'll get going. Oh, you can see our water is a little dirty. We've been marbling with it all week long. Not to worry. We have cleaned the surface and it's going to flow nice and smooth. All right, so we're going to get started. And I think we're going to do white. White is going to be our base coat today. Very nice. All right, we've got our white going. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Just adjusting a few things here. Okay, so we've got these beautiful colors and they're mixed all over the place. Do we wanna do some rhythm to it or not? Oh, I can't decide. Maybe I should have decided previously to this, huh? Okay, maybe we'll try and get creative today. We'll see if this works. Okay, got that one. Next darkest, let's do this one. Maybe we could go lightest to darkest today. Ooh, that one's gonna be a sketchy one. Probably shouldn't have done that one. Sometimes the colors work really well and sometimes they do not. And now that I see that paint flowing, I think, ah, oh, maybe I had trouble with that paint once upon a time. Looks like it's doing okay, though. All right, and at the very top. I ran out just a little bit, but that's okay. I think we're gonna, um, we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this blue color in here. because it seemed to shrink up quite a bit. All right, so let's see, what else should we do? I'm gonna add in more of this color that I said was a problem. It looks like it's doing okay. And it's gonna squeeze everything else back. Look at that, isn't that interesting? So we're just gonna keep applying so we try not to lose any of our colors because they're all here for a reason. They're all supposed to look like our vintage ornaments. Okay, so we got that. That's kind of a dusty green. Now I'm, that's the one I'm a little hesitant on now. Maybe we should have avoided that color. But for right now, it's in there and we're going to go for it. All right, this is looking very green down here. And I feel like this color is a little sad. Boy, that sure did shrink away. Look at that. All right, I think that means it's time to marble and see what we come up with. Okay, let's see what we've got. Let's move some tools around. What are we gonna do? Let's do the little non-parallel. Yeah, let's do those. We're gonna do the little lines today, do drops. Okay, so we're gonna put this tool in the water here. And we're just gonna slowly drag. So is everybody ready? Are y'all ready for Christmas? Have you put up your decorations? Do you have all of your shopping done? I do not. But I need to get on the ball because we're doing a lot of online shopping this year as is, I think, most other people. Oh, this is so pretty. I want to dip it right here, but we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. 
is just one of my favorite patterns. And I love it when the colors line up. I could dip it like that almost every time. Hear that nice little scrape going down my tray. All right, let's come in here with our fine tooth comb very quickly and let's see what we end up with here today. Okay. Should be a nice blend of colors, kind of a scallop. Oh, I'm so excited. I think this is going to look like our vintage ornament. All right, and drops. I think we're gonna do it. All right, let's lower down our white paper. And I'm gonna try and get real close to the edge up here so we get every color in. All right. Hope you. Oh, very pretty. Our, we have a lot of. Look at that. We've got a lot of gray green going on here. I feel like this the light is making it not true to color. Oh, this is so fun. Okay, so I'm going to set it down. I think it kind of looks like it. All right, so what happens next? Next, I dry the paper. I iron the paper, and then I show it to you compared to the original uh, inspiration image, which is our ornaments. All right, so here that is. Do you like it? I hope I like it. I hope it looks like the ornaments. Right now... I think that gray green is a little crazy, but it might actually work. All right. So this is Diane from Corvina. Thank you so much for spending just a little bit of time with me today. Um, hope everything in your life is going great. And thank you for being a small part of mine. So you should come back tomorrow. We're going to be marbling still again, another Christmas inspired picture to make Christmas inspired water marble paper. All right, so go to cora-vina.com when you need a scarf or other marbling items. I redid the whole website. If you have not been there, Dew Drops, you need to go. I'm really proud of it. I did it all myself. Okay, so come back tomorrow. Go shop on coravina.com. Have a really great night. Okay, remember, live colorfully. Goodbye.